The other day someone posted a comment asking if I could make a video about bypassing root detection in an Android app. But to demonstrate that, I decided I'm actually going to solve one of the uncrackable challenges from OWASP. But in order to solve this challenge, I'm going to have to not only bypass root detection, I'm also going to have to crack AES encryption. So let's get started. So first of all, if you haven't heard of OWASP CrackMes, this is a series of quote-unquote uncrackable challenges with a bunch of Android apps, and they also have a couple iOS apps that they use in examples in some of their documentation, and they provide these binaries available for anyone to download to play with on their own. So in this video, I'm gonna solve Android Uncrackable Level 1. The description of this one says, a secret string is hidden somewhere in this app. Find a way to extract it. So first we're going to install this app and then get to work trying to solve it. So for this example, I'm working with an Android Studio emulator where I have installed the Uncrackable Level 1 app and I'm also working with a Kali VM. So first things first, we're going to try to launch the Uncrackable app and see what happens. So I click on the app and it says root detected. This is unacceptable, the app is now going to exit. So the first thing we have to do is bypass root detection. And there are a few different ways to do this, but I'm going to use Frida to do this dynamically. If you saw the video I made a while back where I used Frida to bypass SSL pinning, you may remember that I talked about the Frida code share, and we're actually going to use the code share again to bypass root detection. If you search through the code share, you will find a project called Frida Anti-Root. And if you see the command at the top of the page, it shows you how you can use this to bypass root detection in your application. But to run this, we need the name to use for your binary, and this is going to be the package name for the app that we're trying to bypass. So you are going to need to have the Frida server installed on your mobile device to do this. And I went over how to do that pretty in depth in the SSL pinning bypass I made with Frida a while back. But just a quick refresher, in order to get the server installed, you need to go to the release pages, which is linked right here, and then download the Frida server file that is appropriate for your device. Then you're going to uncompress it using this command right here, and then you're going to install it on your device using ADB, and then run the server with this command right here. Once you have Frida installed, we want to just make sure it's running by running a little smoke test. And we're going to do that by running frida-ps-uia. This should return a list of all the processes running on your device. And if you look over on the right hand side, it tells you the package names as well. And if we look down at the bottom, we see Uncrackable 1, which is the app that we're trying to crack. And we see right next to it, here is our package name. And that's what we're going to use for our Frida code share command. So now that I have my package name, I can run my Frida command. This is going to be Frida dash dash code share, the name of the project from the code share, dash F in the package name of the app that we're working with, and then dash U, which is for USB because we are connected over ADB. So when I run that command, it bypasses all the root detection checks and it launches the app without showing us that alert that we got last time saying that this was a rooted device and it couldn't run. But that was only step one of this challenge. We also want to get the secret string so we can actually solve this whole challenge and not just get it to run on the device. So it says there's a secret string and we need to find it. So if I just run test or something like that and click verify, nope, that's not it, try again. So we need to find what this value is that it's looking for. And there are several ways to do this. If you look on the OWASP website, there are a few solutions that different people have made, but I'm going to do it mostly through static analysis. So for this, I'm going to use JetX. So JetX is going to decompile the APK so we can read through some of the source code. And I'm going to get started by looking at the main activity. And if we scroll down to where it says verify, then we see this text that we just saw a minute ago that says, nope, that's not it, try again. We want to get success, this is the correct secret. So we need to figure out what we need to do to find that secret. And we can see that it's evaluating this a.a .a function. And this code has been obfuscated, so we don't really know what a.a .a means, but we can double click on that and it'll take us to this class right here, and here we can see that it's doing some encoding and encryption. And we can tell from this code right here that it is doing some AES encryption and it is doing some Base64 encoding. And there are several different ways to get around this. Again, you can look at some of the solutions on the OWASP website. There are different approaches you can take. But because I have this value and I also have what looks like the key to the encryption, I'm going to use this to decode the AES encrypted value to find our flag. 
And to do this, I'm going to go to CyberChef, which is always my go-to for any sort of decoding or decryption or anything involving some string manipulation. And if we search for AES over on the side, we find AES decrypt. So we're going to drag that over into our recipe. And because this value right here is a base64 string, we're also going to add a from base64 decoder into our recipe as well. And we're going to copy that as our input. And we're going to copy this value as our key. And there are multiple modes that are available for AES encryption, but if it's not identified explicitly, it's probably going to be ECB. So we're going to select ECB as our mode, and we're going to select as our input type raw. And now we just decrypted that value using AES decryption with this key, and the output is I want to believe. So if we go back to our uncrackable app, we want to type in that value I want to believe. Click verify, success, that is the correct secret. So now we have solved uncrackable level one. First, we had to use Frida to bypass root detection just so we could run the application on our device. And then we had to use static analysis to find our secret that we were looking for in the app. And then we had to break that AES encryption in order to find the original value that it was looking for. So like I said at the beginning, there are multiple uncrackable challenges like these from OWASP, and I might end up making videos about others and also, this was originally mentioned in a comment on an earlier video, so if there are any things like this that people want me to go over in a future video, put them in the comments and I might end up doing them.